Happy day, everyone. Hope you're doing good today. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for being uh, a member of my site and enjoying the information that I'm sharing along the way. I've been away for a little bit. It may not have looked like it because I use a system called SmarterQ to continually put out my content on the page so that you can share it if you've missed it along the way. But I've actually been away for a little bit, kind of going through some changes that I want to do to the business model, and I wanted to share those with you today. Also, I'm kind of playing with a new toy here. I'm recording this via a service called Ecamm Live. I've used Ecamm for a long time to record the Southbound podcast episodes that I do, but they have a new uh, version that allow you to do what I'm doing now. You can actually record your call. You go live on Facebook, and you can record it at the same time. I'll be able to multipurpose that. Use that over on the YouTube channel and things like that. But wanted to give you a heads up about the changes that are coming. Most of the things that I've talked about in the past have revolved around startups, entrepreneurship, and actually funding. So because of my background as a C-level banker, uh, I usually talk about whether how to get business loans, how to find investors, what investors are interested in in startups, how all of that works, how to get funding for your business. And I've known it for a long time. I've recognized for a long time that not every business needs funding to scale. I even say that on my personal website, but it is most of the information that I share. Well, somewhere along the way, the folks who have become interested in the information I share has sort of evolved a little bit. And yes, there's still startups and I still get plenty of calls from folks who would like help getting funding. But then there's also people who have asked me questions like, you know, how do you do your businesses? How do you do freelancing? How do you do your marketing? What do you use for marketing? All these different things. They're all things I have experience with, but I just haven't spent a lot of time talking about them. So as any business does, I've decided to evolve the business. I've decided to take it different directions. Uh, one of those changes is slowing down the amount of content that I'm producing. I used to be part of a group that was a real big fan of tons of content. Obviously, they wanted it to be quality content, and I've not always done the best job with that. But they wanted you to pump out a lot of content and put it out there, and it's just not been my flavor. I've always felt the pressure to produce information when I already have some pretty good information out there that can be repurposed. So I'm stepping a little bit away from doing lots of social media. I'm obviously on social media right now, but I've stepped away from doing tons of it to now really only trying to post things that I want to talk about and that I think folks uh, will actually benefit from. Usually that comes from questions about something. So because the audience is starting to ask me different types of questions, because I looked at my own business, my own professional career, and how I've, how I've kind of evolved my freelancing activities along the way, I've just decided to make a pivot in the type of information that I share. I'll still be putting out information on how to fund a business. If you're a startup, need that type of information, want to understand how investors work, or want to understand how business loans can obviously still help you with that, but I want to put out more things about how I've marketed my own business, how I have gone about uh, freelancing on sites like Upwork. I have some information coming up soon I'd like to share about uh, becoming top rated on Upwork and what that meant and what it took to get there. So I just want to share more information that isn't strictly for people who are going the true tech startup or typical startup route where you're going to raise lots of funding and try and scale and sell out. But I also want to share some information just about growing lifestyle businesses or just a business, a side hustle, those type of things. Those are all things I've done over the years and learned a lot of lessons. So I feel like I have some real value that I can add there for you. So if this that type of information intrigues you or someone you know, please uh, share this page with them. I'd love to have them on here and uh, get some some interaction going back and forth. If you have specific questions you'd love to see me answer, please let me know. You know, put that question in the comments below uh, and let me know what type of information you're looking for. If you haven't, head on over to my main website, which is just my name, JonathanMillsPatrick.com. It should be right. Let's see. How can I do this? There it is. It should be right there. Head on over there and be sure to subscribe to my uh, emails. I try not to spam you with lots of information, but uh, obviously it's the quickest way to get a notification when something new has come out. So uh, hit me up if you want more information. If you could use some free consulting, there's also a page on the website you can head to there, and I'll spend some time with you on the phone talking about what you're struggling with and just see if I can help you. Again, I've spent some time of my own dealing with struggles in business, but also had some successes, and I want to share those stories with you to really help you benefit, launch, and grow the business of your dream. So thanks, as always, for the support. Let me know what I can help you with, but I look forward to dropping more information. I hope you enjoy the pivot along the way, and uh, we'll talk soon. All right? Thanks a lot. See you.